let's start the tutorial of creating website from scratch so here click uh, on the start here click on buy domain and easy WP hosting and this is an affiliate uh, link so if you go through this I will get a small commission and you will get a discount and you don't have to pay anything extra so if you feel my tutorial is helpful please buy from my affiliate link and just click here and it will take you to the Namecheap website and search for the domain name domain name is your website name like your website.com or .net or .org um, .org anything you want so I want to create a website register website domain name bonjour.website ok so I will search here and you can see if it is available it will show that it is available and like here it will show you other extensions also so if you want to register multiple domains you can do that but I will say just ignore it okay and all the other, if your website uh, if the extension you want is not available you can select any other extension you want or you can try a different domain name by again searching here so because my domain name is available so I will click on add to cart and you will see this message it has been added to the cart and then you will see the message easy wp uh, click on it and then you it will show you all the available plans so now i will calculate and show you why i think this plan is the best and if you pay yearly so let's check the monthly rates of these plans um, okay I'll just Okay, you can see the monthly rate of this WP Turbo plan. Uh, uh, if I would not recommend you to go with the WP Starter plan because it only has very limited space and um, not a lot, not a lot of features. It doesn't have free SSL certificate, which will be a hassle for just for a few bucks. So uh, I would recommend you to go with the Turbo plan. But if you are just starting your website and you you want to go with the WP Starter plan, you know you can still go with it. No problem. So I will calculate uh, this renew it renews at the normal price is seven point eight eight per month. So let's uh, seven point eight eight for twelve months will equal to ninety four point five six dollars. Okay, and if you check the yearly rate, it is just twenty six point eight eight, and if you pay monthly you will have to pay 94.56 so it's like if you pay yearly you will have to only pay one fourth of the price so this is why I recommend pay yearly and not monthly it's just too costly to pay monthly and why I pay uh, why I recommend you to go for the supersonic plan uh, if you will see that for one year you will have to 22 pay 22.88 dollars for the WP starter plan and just by adding four bucks extra for a year you can get the turbo plan and just by adding two bucks extra to the turbo plan you can get the supersonic plan for a year so I think 30 bucks for a year is uh, is not a lot and you get a lot of benefits with this it offers you 100 GB SSD compared to the 50 GB SSD with the turbo plan so that's double and the number of visitors per month uh, is also double and uh, by the way I just want to clarify that this is not a, a specific number like uh, if your website visitor account goes uh, yeah, more is more than 500,000 it will not be blocked but it is uh, estimate that uh, depending on the resources your website has that it is it can handle this much visitors and it, it has 2x more CPU 2x more RAM it comes with the guarantee of 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. So if you have an online store, shop or any website, your uptime is really important. It helps in boosting your SEO. It, uh, if your website is down, your customer visits your site, you will lose a customer, you will lose their revenue and they will not come back to your website because it was down. Or if your website goes down in the middle of uh, a customer was purchasing something, you know, they will not trust your website and uh, you could be facing, you could lose a lot more revenue than, uh, not, than saving two bucks a year. 
So that's this is why I would recommend you to go for this easy WP supersonic plan and just pay yearly and be done with it Also has free CDN free SSL and everything So and if you are still not convinced you can try the monthly you can uh, try the service for one month and then decide if you want to pay for a year or not okay so just for this demo purpose and trial i will opt for the monthly plan easy wp supersonic in the select and click on this cart icon to add it to your cart and you will see this message easy wp added to cart okay now click on checkout and just uh, select this auto turn on the auto renew you can turn it off later also but for some registration with uh, whole domains it doesn't work if you don't turn on the auto renew so who is card enable who is card and by default name chips offer you who is card protection for free who is card protection protects your personal details from web crawlers and this is why I like Namecheap uh, better than GoDaddy and other hosting uh, um, domain registrars because they offer free WhoisGuard protection for all domains available. So this this is really important. And go if you uh, register a domain with GoDaddy, they will charge you for it. So and uh, that just a rip off. So this is why I like Namecheap and have trust in them. I've been using the Namecheap for registering domain for years and never had any problem, like never had. I've registered dozens of domains with them and never had to contact the support or anything. And they also have a live chat support option, so that's really good. And you can just review all the items in your cart. This is the domain registrar, uh, this is the domain just make sure that the uh, spelling and everything is correct here and who is got protection is enabled and your hosting plan easy wp for bonjour website and this is the supersonic plan and i'm paying trying it for one month so just uh, okay and then you don't have to uh, if you want you can opt for the free trial of email hosting but you don't have to uh, you can also opt for that later just click on confirm order and then on the next page you will be prompted to log in to namechip if you already have an account you can log into namechip and if you want uh, if you don't have an account with namechip you can create an account it's pretty easy just enter your username password first name last name email address and create a click on create account and continue you will get a confirmation email in your gmail account uh, in your email account so confirm your email and your account you will be logged in so I already have account with Namechip so I will just log in and just okay I will show you another great security feature Namechip has that they use a second factor authentication so even if your password get compromised your account they will not be able to log into your Namechip account which is really important because you know if someone hacks your account and they can transfer your domain so you could lose like lot of money if your website gets lost it's all gone so i would suggest you to select this way i recommend using namecheap which has which offers a good security protection and that and doesn't even charge you extra for it so that's really good so on um, this payment page you will have to enter your card details and in the billing address yeah you it will appear like this for you add new contact it's all pretty basic details you have to enter name address and card details so i already have a registry address with them so i will use my default account contact and i will add my card details here so just um, i will blur the payment details it's all basic and easy to set up Okay, so I have added my card details and my address is already available, registered in it. So, this will show you all the automatic renewal settings. So, depending on your preferences, you can enable it or not. 
but I would say just keep this enabled and then click on continue there was some problem with my card okay now it has been ex after entering your card details you will click continue and you will this uh, this page will show so again it will give you a chance to review all the items in your cart and just make sure that uh, everything is correct all your website name is correct and there is no spelling mistake as if it is uh, if there is any mistake you cannot reverse it so just make sure that all the spellings and everything is correct and it's for one year registration and this is the price and free who is card and this is the one year subscription it uh, namecheap offers it for completely free and this is the easy wp wordpress hosting for supersonic plan monthly and this is for just 0 0.03 so this is perfect for trying their plan and you know check if it will work for you or not before you commit for a year so and the subtotal is this much and it will show you the payment details and renewal settings so after reviewing everything click on pay now Okay, so I changed my payment method to PayPal and now my order has been successfully placed. There was some issue with my card. I don't know why it was not getting approved. But anyway, so you can just change your payment method if you face any such error. Okay, so you can again see your payment uh, purchase details here. Uh, our payment and the order has been successfully placed. What you have to do is set a uh, scroll down and on this on the bottom of the page you will see this option set up your next step set up your dns set up a wordpress site redirect your domain so what we have to do is set up our wordpress website so click on get started and again you will see this options Okay, just um, click on cancel. Okay, so on the screen you will see that there is a one website available to set up. Uh, this is the supersonic plan we opted for and this is the renewal date. And it's WordPress status is not installed. So click on WordPress, set up WordPress. And then it will check for the domain and um, okay for some reason if your domain is not showing here uh, the new registered domain is not showing here so what you have to do is open a new tab and go to namechip actually you can go to my uh, website and from there you can also go and um, just go to your account dashboard And from here, you will be able to see all the websites available. So, let's see. Um, just click. Click on manage. And let's, uh, I think, uh, yeah. So, the problem was this custom DNS. Uh, make sure that name cheap basic DNS is selected Okay, and select this and click on save So but I have been using name cheap for years as I told you so I have customized it to use custom DNS And that is why the easy WP installation was not working. So once you select this uh, it should um, Yeah, it should start showing up in your word easy WP dashboard Let's go back to ECWP and I will refresh it. And let's and you can see the this is the domain we just registered and now it is showing up here. So okay, select the domain and then click continue. And then click on create WordPress website.
okay so the whole installation process takes about one minute to 90 seconds so after installing if you if you see any 404 error or something like that don't worry about it it uh, your website just uh, wait for a minute and refresh the page your website will start working so and all your website credentials will be emailed to you and showing your website bond show as live and so you can find WordPress credentials on your email. So this is how easy it is to set up uh, any WordPress website on EasyWP. So and all your WordPress admin credentials will be emailed to you. You can check your email for username and password. And I would recommend you to change them after logging into your WordPress admin dashboard. This is the WordPress dashboard link. So this video has become a bit longer than I wanted. So um, in the next part two of this video, I will show you an overview of the WordPress dashboard. And so make sure you watch that also. And I will show you how to log into your WordPress dashboard, install plugins and show you all the other functionalities of EasyWP. So um, yeah, that uh, that link will be in the description and in the comments and also probably will be visible on the screen right now.